Frank Motors authorized dealer of Tata Motors PV is now open and like Gorni Shillong, we are here to offer you India's most safest cars and to ensure you to get the most out of owning a Tata vehicle. Come on, Olive Culinary and Hospitality Management Shillong ka khot admission haki professional courses bapair bapair. Ya ka jingtiyo ka bak hamnya lecha ka city office hundredfold academy ha malki. The National People's Party Mitak Singh Kala Thao Thumai KNPP 18 West Shillong Block Executive Committee Lengbaak Jingpan Skem Ka Jong Dr. W.R. Khaluki Ubade WMP Ka Raja Sabha Mara Ka Joka Poor State President Jong KNPP Haka Nika Singh Kala Wan Banyo Don Lang Usun Boat Menteri Rangba Ka Jala Uba Prasun Tun Song Unong Aiktin KNPP Uba Bajok Pengrop Ka President Jong Ka Women's Wing Ka Kong Jasmine Lingdo Mara Kiwai Kiwai Dekir Upa Khumat Jong Ka Party Haba Jinkra Nagani Gisngi Uba Prasun Upan Pao Ika Jinkman Hadin Ka Jinkpan Skem Ika NPP 18 West Shalong Constituency Pat Ka Jinktu Jinkki Pait Ba Klem Na Pait Ya Ka Jinkki Pheer Jai Ban Riu Pat Ka Jinkki Pheer Niam Uba Prasun Ulong Baga NPP Ganyar Trey Lang Nagam Tha Ka Jinkbet Jong Upaid Ba Pat Ulaya Thu Banadu Usnem Upaladeap Ka Sorkar Kala Wanra Ya Ka Focus One Bat Ban Pait Karpang Ika Self Help Group Pat Ka Sorkar Kala Ai San Hajar Tengka Iwe Ida Khot Jong Ka SHG Pat Menta Ka Kanti Ka Sorkar Kala Pait Ba Ya Baro Ki SHG but kala wanra yako fokus tu haka jala kabla stang shwa na garo hills but kaba labu pan pendep no kham kloy shushu ba prasu nul ong ba ke 18 west long constituency kan penbyangi ke kerteng ki ba hadu sao hajar teli ki long yeng ki bedok but ka sorkar kan sa ahai jingirap ya ki na kamata san hajar tingka ya iwe id khot ke long yeng ulong ru ba si sien bala keren bat leh bha ke NPP kam sengow AA mar ka leh ya kabadei bat kam ken ya ki jingkan thok we are by confirm the block committee of the 18, 18 West Long Assembly Constituency. Simiti Jun Warba. Sri Rishan Nongsit, Vice President. Sri Daniel Rapsang. A treasurer, press it has spread its wings, its wings, not only in Meghalaya, but all over the country. As you know, way back in 2013, our party, the National People's Party, had only two MLAs in the Legislative Assembly out here in the state of Meghalaya. But I'm very happy to inform you that today the National People's Party is the single largest party in Meghalaya and has seven MLAs in Manipur, has MLAs in Arunachal Pradesh, has MLAs in Nagaland and all other parts of the northeastern states. That is the sign that the people of Northeast India have love for the National People's Party. The National People's Party, its ideology is to work for all, not looking at any caste or creed or religion, but to work for the development of the state of Meghalaya. Friends, as we know, me, myself, going back to the past, why I have joined the National People's Party also. I have been a Congress member for the past eight years, but I am tired to see the infighting going on in the Congress party. And as I move on in my constituency, the people of my constituency have suggested me that if you join any other political party, it's better you join the National People's Party. And here today, I'm so happy to be in this party, having humble leaders like our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Conrad Sangma, our Deputy Chief Minister Sri Preston Tinsong, our Honorable MP of the Raja Sabha, and so many leaders where us youths can connect with the top brass of the party. We don't have our headquarters outside, but our headquarters is here in our beloved state, Meghalaya. Friends, as we know, elections is approaching in few months' time. I would request you all that when you go and cast your vote, cast with 
all your heart and soul for the National People's Party. The best part about the National People's Party is that all so many sitting MDCs, sitting MLAs, they are on the queue of joining the National People's Party. Because we know from the support of the people for the National People's Party, we are confident that the National People's Party will form the next government in 2023. The NPP, which not only talk but also deliver, and in ground reality, it is there for all for us to see. Under the dynamic and able leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Konrad K. Sama, who is also the national president, the party has taken keen and personal interest to ensure that the deeds, not words, are his priority to take the step forward. And he, along with his cabinet colleagues, which comprise comprises of alliances with other political parties, has put in their best of effort to address many vital issues and have initiated many development programs that have benefited the general public and youth in particular. And as such, I am pleased to be associated with this political party, that is the NPP, and I look forward to working together in days to come with everyone in the party, and I also appeal to all my party members of our block committee that we should leave no stone unturned and to make certain, make certain that the NPP legislature from this 18 West constituency will win the coming general election in 2023 with a huge margin and with a thumping majority. One of the party was very vocal in opposing this settlement of the border issue. One of the leaders is in the helm of affairs. When four people at Langpi, innocent people, were killed by the bullet of Assam police. What did they do? Did they arrest Assam police? Nothing was done. And now they start telling that, no, NPP is, what NPP is doing is bad, but they are not doing anything. So this is the time that like what we are thinking, at least we do this, that 50 years from now, at least we will say that in our time, we have settled the issue so that at least our people don't suffer. Well, my dear friend, I'll tell you, I'll give you an information. Well, Shalom, of course, I'll not say that 10% are educated, there are some also, but to those educated people, you go to the latest education, uh, latest edition of India Today. India Today is a national magazine. It is not our magazine from the state. And you'll see about the India Today report, latest edition about the state of Mekhlia. And I think every Mekhlia reading this will feel proud about what the state had achieved within these five years. You read this, well, I will not prolong my speech. I do hope that I'll be coming more times this side in the election. And at the same time, yes, like what they have said, I think this is the unit, the only unit that, are, are well, besides, I think, in the Kong Jasmine constituency, that I confirm it as a president because since most of my time is in Delhi. I would have learned Hindi. Unfortunately, I hail from the rem remotest place of Meghala, so I could not. But the beauty of tonight's gathering for all of us is in the name of NPP, we are in this place. We are united. And we are one. Almost five years now, we completed running the government. I never expected that NPP will be able to step in in your constituency. 
Here is the plan of Almighty, which is ultimately we are together here tonight and also we will grow together henceforth. Now I will not name anybody here because time is running out. What I wanted to share with you here is this. I'm so proud of myself to be in this place which is known as a cosmopolitan place or constituency. Seeing one by one, when all of you are part and parcel of the block and PP, West Shillok constituency, all representative, irrespective of caste, creed, and religion. Here we are a complete India. This is what I wanted to tell you. I express my gratefulness to see that the 18 West Shillong are seen as one, be it in the state level or be it in the national level. So here I am part of this family. Thank you so much, friends. When I go back home, I'll start learning Nepali, Hindi, Bengali, so on and so forth. Just few months back, I would like to tell you few developmental activities has happened here in your constituency. And let me tell you one scheme which is being sanctioned now is ambulance. Hopefully CM will be able to come and inaugurate and launch the ambulance which is being sanctioned now. Then we have more small schemes, more small schemes, be it solar light, be it electric light, and also be it the beautification of your center over there which is called uh, what do we call it? That 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 point or Kerbom. In Kerbom point, we have already accorded sanction 2.5 plus crores, and this beautification will be complete. Will be completed at the earliest possible. So these are the issues where I would like to share with all of you that the government is showing the, its responsibility to the people of the 18 Shillong West constituency. Next point is, we have decided also from the government side that we are going to strengthen the security services in and around this constituency. So we wanted to see that you all feel secure at any point of time. So here is the official co communication where the government would like to inform all of you that the government is all out with all of you at any point of time as far as maintaining law and order 
and also peace in this particular constituency. I am so happy also when our state president, Dr. Thaluki, has confirmed the office bearers of the block NPP here in your constituency. Under the leadership of Ba'deng Rapsang, whom we use fondly call him, and then Ba' Sony Korean, along with the team, the youth, the women, all of you, I wish you all the best and please walk harder from tomorrow till we become victorious in the coming general election. The prologue by it, begin don na kani ka jamit, ban penskem ya kani ka party ke jomi. Kabanga nga don ban ong kalong na kaliang jom u national president, u chief minister jomi, umla ban yo don lang nanta. Tenggeri kata mengapa Ban Ong Ye Pi kan National People's Party nado u National President, hado u State President, District, but hado u Pi Keblok. Nginye tre lang kum si para, kum si ying si sem, na kebenta kajing bit kajing biang jong kipa. One more important announcement I would like to share with all of you tonight. Since last year, I think you must be aware, government has taken initiative to launch Focus One. We call it Focus One. And this Focus One, when we initiate, we took initiate, uh, initiative, when we launched it, we were targeting those SHG, self-help group, women help self-help group, where we used to give them 5,000 rupees per member. If they are 10 members, each SHG, they are getting the working capital, I should say, 50,000 rupees. And now we are in the stage where each and every SHG throughout the state in getting all these working capitals to all of them. And recently, this year, we again taken an initiative, the second phase of FOCUS, which is known as FOCUS Plus. FOCUS Plus. We already launched in Karo Hills, and some parts of this site also we launched. So for your benefit, I would like to tell you, please, please understand through this block, through this committee, if you want to meet me or you want to meet CM, please make sure to meet us. We can explain to you more, de more details how to avail again this financial assistance. And this time, we wanted to give it individually. 5,000 rupees again to each each individual household weaker section and we wanted to complete this mission at the earliest possible. From this constituency, I would like to tell you, please submit the names of 4,000 households. 4,000 households 
at the rate of 5,000 each household through the committee. And I would request, as I said, to all the affairs bearers, you can come and meet me, and you can, you can also come and meet the Honorable Chief Minister at any time convenient to both of us. Now we wanted to focus that the government is partnering with the weaker section of people in the state of Maine, And we wanted also to make sure that their economical condition is improved through this initiative taken in the name of Focus Plus. I think now you got the point, you understand, right? Have you noted down, especially from the women or maybe the uh, active member of the block? And I'm sure if you can avail 4,000 households, it should be a blessing. And you will see also a change that is going to happen here in your constituency. Let us work harder. And please assure us, the candidates of MPP, which is also to be decided by the block, not by Dr. Karloki, not by Mark Preston, the candidate whom you are going to propose, you send it to us, we will just blindly approve it. Maybe you want Mark Preston also, Mark Preston to contest from here, I don't know. <laughs> or about them. <laughs> no. But as I said to you, we already entrusted to the newly constituted committee. Choose your candidate. Anyone you decided, we will just approve it. And we will wholeheartedly working together with the NPP block. West Shillong. Just the beginning of our journey. Let us walk hard. Let us walk hard with full humility. As Basoni mentioned, we walk hard, full humility. Let people talk about NPP. I don't mind. I don't care. I became thick skinned now. You have seen it, the drama. In the social media, who's Preston, who's Karna Sangma. But I'm telling you, once we do right, we don't care. But we need to do right for the interest of the state. I saw recently in the newspaper, the whole of Maupram area, because they seeing one decision taken by the government, that we are planning to shift that sweeper or friends from sweeper lane at Yomolo to the Mauprem TV hospital where we call it. I remember delegation came and met me, the Rangba Shnong, the traditional head came and met me and they, I assured them this one we have taken note of it. We will not just bulldoze or we will not just go against the wishes of the people. So let me inform you now that we have taken a decision that relocation should not take place this side. <laughs> That way, I assure you, relocation of our friends from Yomolo will not be shifted to this side.